we're going to go over the basic settings for the MicroStim 100i LE. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a little door here, and if you hook your finger right here and you pull the door off, it will reveal a single switch underneath. And on the right-hand side, it says Milli. On the left-hand side, it says Micro. This is described more in the booklet if you want more information. Just set it on Milli and leave it there. So that's the only switch under the door. If we move up to the top of the unit, you'll see two switches. This switch here. And if it's to the back, it's on square wave. And if we slide it to the front, it's slope wave. Most of what you want to use this unit for, you'll want it on square wave. You'll also notice the belt clip on back, so that's how you know it's the back of the unit. Then this knob here is how you adjust the current, and there are numbers on it. Just think if this is a volume knob, so if you turn this clockwise, you turn the unit on. And so this is what we've done. We've turned the knob clockwise. This turns the unit on. And you can see that there's a little light over on the left side of the unit. That green light tells you the condition of the battery. It simply says that the unit is on and the battery is good. That light will go from green to yellow and then to red. If it's red, it means you're close to the needing a new battery. Remember that these units are electronic units, not electrical. So it either works or it doesn't. If the battery gets too low, it will simply not work. But the battery indicator tells you that the unit is on and that the battery is good. And as you turn this clockwise or counterclockwise, you either turning up the power or turning it off. And clockwise turns it up, and counterclockwise reduces the current and then turns it off. Over here is the plug where we will plug the main wire in. There is a video on this, so please check that out. But these are the basic switches and settings for the MicroStim 100 ILE. Oh.